Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's see. So, going up. Alrighty. Hmm. Over here, like so. Alright. Yeah, right down here. Okay. So, I just put a, uh, a big uh, thruster here, and another large thruster here. There we go. Then, I just need uh, a bit more um, blast powder in order to make the activation switch. Okay. Let's go ahead and test this right quick. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Well, there could be a fluke the first time. Try it again. Okay. Alright, it's starting to look like it's not a fluke. Very nice. Alright. But nothing is set in stone until I reach the end of the track. So let's go on ahead and uh, do that right quick. Without uh, making it uh, pop off of the end. And uh, falling to the ground below. That would be bad. Alright. Uh oh. Please tell me that sound does not mean that, that this thing is breaking apart. Okay, come on. <coughs> okay, it's not making it anymore. So, and yeah, that's good at least. Alright. Right. Keep going. Alrighty. And we passed by that. So, yeah, that means that that's not in the way. Okay, is that the end of the track there? Okay, yes it is. Okay, how much... I do not have any stone, do I? Great. Okay. Fortunately, there is a mine there, so, um... Maybe it won't be too much of an issue. Okay... Right then. Gonna head and get up here. And then I can um, head on down into the cave and... Uh, I haven't explored this cave in particular yet. So... It might be worth um, uh, checking it out. So the entrance is back here. Alright. That's a little bit inconvenient. Oh my gosh, hello. And goodbye. I'm going in. Okay. And there we go. Alright. So how do we make one again? Five granite. So I need to pick up uh, four more granite. Okay, that's some wood. Okay. Now get back through here. And... Okay. Oh, hello, spider. You are so much better than that wolf. So get gone. <laughs> Alright. And by better, I mean so much easier to take down. Okay, I thought that was a bit of granite there that was loose. As opposed to um, uh, needing to be um, 
uh, broken by a pickaxe. Alright, that one was loose, as was that one. Alrighty, so... Now what? Okay, I don't see any stone in this direction, so... Maybe it would be worth going downhill? <clears throat> okay... So just grab this... And this, I think that's five, so I'm going to go on ahead and get back to, and I'm gonna get back into the cave so that I can um, get the crafting bench made. Alrighty, and here we are, back in the cave again. Okay. Alright. Put in its wick because um, I need some lighting here. All right. Okay. So now here we are, crafting bench. Stick it right here. Awesome. And now I can make a pickaxe. Yay. All right. So now, I can um, uh, break some granite and get some um, uh, granite for the, um, oh, hello. <clears throat> and get some granite for the um, uh, Mark II. Ow. Okay. Okay, there we go. Another pickaxe uh, for my collection. I'll be at much weaker. Okay. Right then. Might as well use the um, yeah, weaker one to um, yeah, get this. Hey, it's there. It's convenient. Alright, grab that wood. Alright. And then, I need to put another candle here. Alright. Oh, hello again, skeleton. Whoa! You don't get to, um... Yeah. Hit me that easy. Alright, there we go. Get some bone for some more upgraded uh, uh, stuff. What is this? Wood. Okay. Got it. Yeah, knot root tends to be a bit paler in comparison. Like, uh, it tends to be um, uh, almost gray and kind of a beige uh, color, to be honest with you. Alright. So, jeez, okay, all right, what is that, oh, that's a spider, and that's a roller, okay, okay, I, and there's a skeleton again. Alright. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that uh, worked uh, too well. Alright. Alright. The placement on these candles uh, is a bit tricky. Alright. Oh! Looks like there's some more um, uh, uh, pickaxe. Ow! There's another uh, bit of granite there. Ow! Okay. Calm down. I would really like to uh, mine this stuff, and uh, you're kind of making that difficult. Alright. 
put... Ow! Alright, that's it. You're done, skeleton. Die. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, you're, um... You're kind of um, yeah, getting a bit uh, wily with those uh, projectiles. Okay. Just do this and collect the wood up. Alright. Dang. Quite the infestation in this cave. Okay. <sighs> I'm surrounded on all sides by enemies. Or monsters, or whatever you want to call them. Alrighty. He didn't seem to notice me. So that's good, at least. Alright. Now then. Set a candle here. Yep, there's some granite right here. Alright. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Seems like in some senses I didn't even have to worry about um, uh, uh, bringing my own pickaxe. Because these guys seem to be consistently providing me with some. Alright. And now switching to the pickaxe that I built. Or crafted. Uh, whatever the case may be. Okay. So. I am getting quite a lot of granite around here. I'm wanting to say that that uh, uh, brighter stone happens to be marble. And, uh, to my knowledge, I don't think there's anything that I can build, at least, uh, um, uh, uh, where it comes to foundations, um, uh, that are made of marble. Okay. I may have to, um, uh, bear in mind that you can, um, uh, take these mushrooms down with, uh, uh with a pickaxe. Hmm. Maybe someday I can um, take advantage of that. But for right now, I'm just going to build this up and get at this granite right here. Alright, so how much does that get me up to? Alright, get this and this. Looks like about 38. Okay. Ooh, here's a big lump of uh, granite right here. Okay. And of course, like any other um, uh, granite you can mine, um, essentially, you can. Uh, it uh, just uh, gives me four. Alright. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's not root. Because it's that uh, beige color that I was telling you about earlier. Alright, as are these two. Alrighty. With normal wood, um, uh, it's basically uh, uh, the darker brown. Uh, like, uh, well, brown. <laughs> um, alright. The placement on this now, on these candles is really tricky. Like, uh, you have to, um, uh, you have to get the right position, uh, pretty well. Okay, I'm dealing with you now. Okay. Alright. Now I just need to, uh, bop you like this. And there we go. Yay! Enemy cleared. And there we go. I believe that is 50. 
Unless I am in, yeah, seeing things wrong. Alright. Regardless, and, and now it's on the, um, yeah, whatever ten it is, N1. So. Okay. Grab this. Alrighty. So. Now what? Okay. I've got uh, over a hundred wood. And there's some more granite. There are some just lying around free. And then there are some that, uh, that you have to mine in order to, um, in order to, um, uh, get anywhere with. So now I am heading out. Hey, spiders. How are you doing? Alrighty. Let's pop you. I think that's all of them. So now, I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, get up to the um, uh, track again. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from here. Okay. So. I'm going to go on ahead and uh, get over here. Or not. I'm just going to fall off and... Uh, now uh, force myself to glide with my um, uh, glider, and I am starving on top of all of this. Brilliant! Do I have any food? Oh boy! I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. That's uh, that's all I can um, uh, say about that. <sighs> See. Let's try and get over here somewhere, so that I am, yeah, so that I can get some food. Because I'm not sure if there are any raspberry bushes around there. <clears throat> okay. Whatever you do, stay on the track, especially while you're sprinting like this. Because if you fall off that track with no stamina, that glider will not work. <sighs> I've learned that the hard way. Okay. Sprint again. Alright. Okay, things are getting a little bit dangerous here. And now I'm hot. Hot and starving. Brilliant. Alright. If I die on the track, yes, my backpack will uh, will stay on the track. Okay. Alright. That uh, tip about uh, sprinting from battle, um, yeah, that's most of the time how I operate, and then... Um, well, I say that, but there are many other times, uh, a lot of other times, where I've actually um, uh, fought against the monster. Um, but it's usually when I feel like um, I um, can't really escape them. Or I just get mad, one or the two. Anyway, grabbing this. And let's get back to base and uh, get some um, uh, food uh, uh, rations uh, in my inventory. Because, honestly speaking, I really don't want to have to go through that again. So glide down here like this. And grab some raspberries. Like so. Okay. So. Now... I just go out through here, and I'm gonna go and uh, see about the um, uh, the uh, uh, spicy peppers. All right, like so and like so. Brilliant. All right. Oh, hello, piece of granite. Lovely meeting you here. Okay. Grab this. Alright. 
Is there any other food nearby? Okay. Doesn't seem like in those bushes, so... I think I've just about got everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Head on back to when... Where I'm working. And just take it from there. Okay. So go up through here like so. And... Uh, okay. It doesn't appear that uh, I have very much food. Eight peppers and uh, uh, three raspberries come out to about uh, uh, 11 food items. So, uh, when I'm uh, really feeling um, uh, the pressure from starvation, um, uh, that's not going to cut it for very long. Okay. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? I'm kind of wishing that uh, yeah, I had access to the um, uh, to the return cars and uh, activation switch. I might actually have enough in order to uh, make that, but. I don't know yet. I'll just have to see. Oop, oop. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm basically um, uh, walking a flippin' tightrope here. I can hardly... Um, uh, it's just like a balance game. <clears throat> and ever since I got my glider... Um, the only time that the stakes are as high as death is uh, whenever um, uh, I um, uh, run out of stamina. So, that's good at least. It's also a good reason why I'm just simply running over here. Because I do not need to be um, uh, falling off of this track and uh, losing my stuff. That's a nightmare that I don't ever want to and uh, repeat again. Okay. So let's see. Oh, I was right. It was 50. Okay. Cool. Very cool. All right. Get on over here like so. And just to keep busy with all of this. Alright. I'm getting down to an, uh, the uh, 30 granite mark now. Won't be too much longer before I'm going to and uh, need to and uh, start mining for more. But let's not to worry about that to, uh, too much right now. Just as long as I can um, uh, make progress on the um, uh, thicker track uh, all the way over towards where the um, uh, uh, other tower is supposed to be, then I consider that golden. Alright, six, five, four, three two, and one. This is the last one I can place for now. Okay. Ugh. It is so far from end to end. And uh, that is why I am making this uh, 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 project to begin with. To make travel between these two points easier and faster. Alrighty, so, let's get on over here, shall we? Okay. Now, just to, uh, oh, just to uh, jump across here, and uh, get up here, or not. 
Alright. I'm actually just going to head on back to the um, uh, station to, to uh, check on something, I guess. Or actually, since it's night time, I could farm some more um, uh, blast powder. You know, for the activation switch. Because I am really, really, really um, uh, wanting to um, uh, get the return car um, uh, working as soon as possible. So there's that. And there's a brute down below. That's another reason why I'm making Sanctuary Railway. Since we're so high up, um, uh, uh, we'll um, uh, be out of um, uh, sight uh, uh, for that uh, big old brute, uh, uh, and thus, um, he won't be able to um, um, uh, hit us, because you can't hit what you can't see, right? That's generally the rule of thumb. Alrighty, so... Alrighty. <laughs> Alright. So... Let's see... I don't think I need this anymore. So I'm gonna go on ahead and break it. And hopefully... Hmm, I don't think that actually um, broke apart uh, the way I was hoping it would. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to break it manually. Alright, break this, and then break this. Okay. Then break this, and this, and this, and then break this, and this, and this. Okay. So I should be able to, and I would say break the middle part, but um, and, uh, sometimes uh, things have worked out a bit differently than... Um, uh, what I thought to be logical, so maybe um, uh, doing it like this would work uh, uh, that much better. Okay, so. Right. So let's go on in here and let's get a long sword for my little hunting session, shall we? All right. Now let's get on out here and uh, try and find some of those uh, special skeletons, so that I can uh, uh, so that I can get some blast powder. Got some arrows that'll be useful for my crossbow, which is one of my most powerful weapons. And that is a sand wolf that I just saw in the distance there. I can tell because of its uh, red eye. Is that thing coming after me? Oh boy. Uh, okay. That was a rather um, uh, weird thing to um, uh, find. Uh, just uh, some uh, uh, vines and some wood coming off of the top of what is obviously a rocky outcropping. Alrighty, these are the skeletons that I was talking about, and there's the blast powder that I was talking about. Yay! Now I can finally get the, um, uh, now I can finally get the uh, activation switch for the return car. And not a moment too soon, as the moon is starting to set. I did that pretty well perfectly. So... What I'm going to do now is uh, uh, close the door to my um, uh, uh, train station, grab some more um, uh, raspberries, and 
I'm going to move on back up to the um, uh, Sanctuary Railway. Okay, so just need to... Oh, dear. Okay. I really need to um, uh, figure out a way of um, uh, of getting on up here without falling. Maybe um, uh, uh, maybe enclose these uh, stairs in some scaffolding or something like that. Okay. Hmm. Right. Let's go. <coughs> Alrighty. So. What are we going to... Alright. I'm gonna uh, just uh, head on back to the... Uh... Okay. So... Hmm. I don't know um, if that uh, crossbow would have been um, um, useful or not. I'm probably going to say not because of how um, uh, of how uh, uh, fragile it is right now. Uh, maybe a couple of shots and it would be gone. So I'm just going to say that um, that would probably be a safe assumption. And I'm going to um, eh, keep it in reserve for a while until um, until something happens and I need it for however long it has left. Anyway, just to travel across here like so, and I'm gonna. Uh, Maybe reaching the uh, train itself right about now. Alrighty. So. Now I'm going to go on ahead and uh, uh, set down the... Uh, okay. How much further can I go in this direction? Okay. Um, what was that noise? Okay. Well, noise or not, uh, it did give me some insight as to um, uh, which side was which. So, now I can test the return car. And it seems like everything is standing strong for now. Oh, wow. That stopped right at Spidey Station. <laughs> Nice. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to um, uh, keep testing this until I hit to the um, uh, Dry Valley station. Okay. I keep hearing the uh, that sound. I'm hoping that that didn't... Uh, I'm hoping that that's not uh, a bad sign. And uh, speaking of bad signs, I haven't heard any more of that um, um, that noise that uh, sounded like the whole thing was breaking apart. Alrighty. Anything can still happen, though. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and my ears... Uh, very, um, uh, very much, um, okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, let's go back a little bit further and then test and see, um, uh, what the, um, uh, buffer can do against, uh, uh, the train at full speed. Tally-ho! And boom. Okay. At the very least, the tower did not crumble. At the very least, the tower did not collapse this time. And the thing was able to um, uh, free itself through the power of the um, uh, forward-facing thrusters. 
So, yay! That seems to be about it for now. Hopefully it keeps this record up.